Planner friends, Ashley here. I got my Happy Planner order in and we're gonna do a little haul video. I'll show you guys what planners I have for 2022, show you the fun stickers that I got. But first I did grab this extension pack, a fitness extension pack from Hobby Lobby. It's funny because I was going to order this off of the Happy Planners website when I ordered everything else. But I was like, no, I don't need another fitness extension pack. Like, I probably won't use it because I've been using, like, the teacher planner for fitness or whatever. And then I was in Hobby Lobby and I was seeing it and I was like, okay, maybe I do need this extension pack. Because it's really, really cute. It's a four-month extension pack. I guess it's the wellness extension pack. Wellness, fitness, whatever. Um... I really do like this, mainly for the dividers and the extra pages that are inside of here. I'm not going to open it, uh, but I, I will probably be frank and planning using some of these pages in with my current fitness planner. So I got the extension pack, this one from Hobby Lobby. And then everything else that I got from the Happy Planner. The first one is a 12-month mini dashboard planner. I don't know that I am going to be using a mini planner for 2022, but I wanted to get this just in case because it is a neutral dashboard planner. And let me tell you guys, once the neutrals are gone, like the neutral planners, they're gone. They are, it's like impossible to find them. Um, so this is a 12 month planner. It's a dashboard layout. It's mini. It's super, super cute. I really like this inside cover. Really, really pretty. But here's what I mean by neutral. There's the weekly page. There's just a gray block here and these little check, check boxes are gray. That's it. There's no big like color block up here. I'm so, 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 so glad that they've come out with this this year. It makes me so happy. But I do like the dividers in here. So if I decide to make like an on the go mini, I will have it ready to rock and roll. Just very classy, clean, very neutral, right up my alley right now. So there's the dividers on that. So that's the mini dashboard. And then with the best of intentions, I got a budget planner, a mini budget planner. I mean, cause I really need to get my life together. Does the fact that I have this planner mean that I'm gonna get my life together? Mm, you know, maybe not, probably not actually. It's very unlikely, but I haven't, I have good intentions here, you guys. I have really good intentions. So I have a 12 month budget planner starts in 2022. I really needed to start like yesterday. Um, but I really haven't dived into the dived. I haven't dived. I haven't dove into this very much. So let's take a, take a little look at it. Um, you have your financial goal. There's important dates, unexpected spends. I'm going to need a bigger, <laughs> bigger section for that. This is dot grid. There's the monthly. And then this is what I'm excited for. I kind of looked at it a little bit. I didn't really like dive into it, but we have income and you have totals for the month. So this is where you can put your bills at when they're due and stuff. You got a savings tracker, accounts and debts, no spend. It says try not to spend money on anything outside of necessities for at least one week during this month. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Then here you have the weekly expenses. So there's what? We got date, the expense, the amount. Was it a need or was it a want? That's my problem. It's the wants. Um, where do I deserve a gold star? <laughs> Might not get very many of those. Is there anything I can do better next week? Probably so. Um, so there's going to be a few weekly expenses pages here. Then there's a dot grid. This says, take note, lines, check it off, important, another dot grid. This is for the next month. And then you have the, or no, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I lied. That was for the current month. That's for the month that it's on here. So this is January. Then you flip it over, you have your currently page for February, and then it's going to repeat itself. So excited to use this, kind of not excited to use this, really need to use this. You guys know how it goes. I know how to budget. It's just sticking to it. You know, it's like whenever you walk in and you're like, you see things that you, you know, you really don't need, but then you buy them anyways. That's my problem. That's my problem. All right. So there's that mini budget planner. And then next up, I did get the Christmas 
extension pack. I really love this one. I've used, not, I haven't used this one specifically. I used one similar last year and I loved it is what I'm trying to say. It's got menu, party, cards, gifts. There's, what else does it say? Notes, cookie exchange, memories. I just love the fun different little tabs. Actually, let's just take a look at it. Let's just look. So you have menu, holiday menu planning. There's menu pages, there's recipe pages in here. Then you've got party. We've got party planning pages, like menu, activities, decorations, things like that. And then you've got cards. This is where you can have your Christmas card list, a gift list. Then you have gifts. I think this is supposed to go here. Yes, card list. Then you have your gifts tab. So this is where you can write down all the gifts you're gonna get. And then I like these ones too, um, the stocking stuffers. So really good, a good way to just keep everything together. You have memories, I love that. So favorite memories, there's little things you can decorate with, traditions. There's a notes section. I keep hitting the thing, so I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. So there's note pages. And then you have cookie exchange. So here it's got ingredient alternatives on the divider. And then you've got like the rules, voting ideas, and then there's recipe pages. And then I need to get what? So you can make your supply list. Then we have stickers in the back, which I love. So there's two sheets of stickers. We have that one and then there's this one. I really loved using this last year. If you guys are wanting to get this, seriously, go get it now because it'll be gone. And then... Again, it's like the neutral planners. It's like impossible to find them. So that's the Christmas extension pack. I love this. Um, let's see. We'll set this over there. And then here is one of my planners for 2022. This is a dashboard planner. This one's neutral as well, which I love. It's a 12-month planner. Starts January, ends in December. Hello, gorgeous. Yearly, yearly planning ahead pages. I really love the currently page. It's very, very neutral. And I love the dividers in this one. So here's the monthly section, very neutral. And then the dashboard weekly section is also neutral. Makes me so happy. I loved my dashboard planner from last year. I mean, you guys know that I used it every single week up until these last couple of months um, for social media planning. I love the functionality of a dashboard planner. This is actually my favorite layout the Happy Planner has because it's so functional and because you can still have plenty of room to decorate. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be using this one again for social media, if it's going to be my catch-all planner. I honestly have no idea. I just know that this is going to be a part of my lineup. I probably won't start putting all of this together and working on it until December. Um, maybe sooner, I don't know, we'll see. But usually about December is when I start prepping for the new year, so. But you gotta get the planners now because these are when they come out. And if you're if you're like, why are 2022 planners coming out now? It's only September, what's happening? Get them now because they're gonna be gone by the time December gets here. Be bold, brave, and brilliant. So that's going to be the dashboard planner, part of my lineup. Next up, we have this one. This is a vertical planner. Now I'm not going to be using a vertical planner in 2022, but I got this one for the dividers. There's another planner I have to get. I haven't been able to find it. It's not on the Happy Planners website. I've looked at Michael's, Joanne's, and Hobby Lobby, and I haven't found it yet. So I'm going to, fingers crossed, y'all, I'm going to keep looking and pray that I find it. It is, was it a horizontal? I don't remember the layout now. It might have been horizontal. Hmm, I can't even remember. I know what the cover looks like, and I do not remember what it's called. But there's another planner I want to get, and I'm going to use the dividers out of this planner and Frank and Bloom with that one. But I love the dividers inside of here. I do love the cover on this too. And this inside cover is really pretty. It says, hello. So again, very, very neutral, simple, basic, currently page. I love it. I do like the monthly section here. It's pretty neutral. And I do like the weekly section. You know, am I never gonna use a, a vertical layout in 2022? No, I don't know that. I might end up pulling pages from this, you never know. The plan as of right now is to not use this. 
by December, that could totally be different. I don't even know. But I do like this, the weekly pages. It's very, very neutral. There's just the dots at the center, which is totally fine. You have a dot grid over here. Down here, it says this week's list. And there's some lines, which I appreciate. And then here's the dividers real quick. I mean, they're so stinking cute. Today is wild and it's yours. Look at that. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, clearly you can see why I bought this for the dividers, right? These are cute. I always say I like I'm going to hang some of these up on my wall and I never do. I always believe in your wildest dreams. Super, super cute dividers. And there's December. Don't be afraid to seek adventure, my friends. That one's really cute. So that's that planner. And then I got a um, Happy Notes. I thought that this was a classic size. Clearly I wasn't paying attention. This is a big Happy Notes, but I love the cover. I love the dividers in here and I love the notes pages. So the note pages, they're, they're dotted lined. So as you can see, they have the dots on the lines and then there's the leopard print off to the side. All of the note pages are the same in here. And the dividers are very similar to that planner. So that's a big happy notes. And then the fun stuff, we have stickers. Even though I wanted to buy every sticker book that they come out with because I loved them all, you know, I couldn't. Uh, but I did get some and I'm super excited about them. First up, we have Seasons. This one's so stinking cute, you guys. I love it. It's got all the different seasons in here. Fall, Halloween, winter, Christmas, spring, summer. Just really, really, really cute stickers. Yes, I'm like flying through these. I know, I'm sorry. Um, the Happy Planner, I don't know if they do or not. I honestly didn't even look, but they should have videos up of flip throughs of all their sticker books so you guys can check everything out. But there's Seasons. I got the Mixed Media Mom one. It's not not like the Super Mom collection. I really love that one. That was one of my favorites. But um, it's still really, really cute. And there's really, really pretty stickers in here. What does this say? Being a parent is like folding a fitted sheet. No one really knows how. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. That's absolutely on point. Yes, no one really knows how to do that. Um, so mixed media, the mom one, and then bold and blush. Love these, very neutral. There's a lot of pinks in here. I'm not like the biggest pink fan, but it does look super, super cute paired with the neutrals and the blacks and stuff. So, and there's some rose gold stickers in here, functional ones. We have some quotes, cute decorative box stickers, titles, etc. Very cute sticker book. So that's the bold and blush. And then I got Plant Mama. And I bought this for one reason. These palm leaves. To my surprise, there's only one sheet of them, which makes me super, super sad. Let's find them here. Right there. That's it. This is the only sheet. Like, what the heck? I was, I was thinking, I mean, you can look when there's pictures of them. It'll show you you know, how many sheets of each are in here, but I was just fingers crossed, you know, hoping that there'd be at least two sheets of these and there's not, um, because I want to do like my whole life in this right here, <laughs> the palm leaves. So there's only that one sheet, which kind of makes me sad, but there's other really, really cute functional stickers inside of here that I love. And I will definitely be using the rest of the sticker book, but that's the plant mama. And then I got the seasonal fall sticker book because fall, hello. Really, really cute fall stickers in here. We got some pumpkins, really pretty colors, all the coffee, pumpkin pies. There's cute ghosts, so there's really, really pretty uh, Halloween stickers in here as well. We've got some letters. Yeah, really cute sticker book, seasonal fall. Then I got the abstract watercolor. I love this one, you guys. This was genius. This was very creative and very fun. Like, look at those stickers. How cute are those? One of my favorite sticker books. I just love it. I love the colors. I love the stickers. It all just goes so well together. Little dots, decorative, functional stickers. Um, really good sticker book. So, that's the abstract watercolor. And then, of 
of course, I got the Christmas sticker book because Christmas, right? Um, let's take a look. Functional stickers. Some These are really, really cute to make an entire spread with just ornaments. I've seen people do it and it looks gorgeous. Uh, what else? Note stickers, shopping lists, titles, corner stickers, regular box stickers, decorative stickers, cute little trees, these little um, cocoa mugs down here. We've got the truck. There's some clear stickers. I just love their Christmas stickers. They always do such a good job with Christmas. And then, of course, Halloween. I love this sticker book. This one's really good. I did find some really cool Halloween stickers on Etsy. So if you guys are looking for some more, check out Etsy because there's really, really good ones on there. Um, box stickers, which I love. You guys know that. Fab, boo, less. Very cute. Like, look. Read Halloween books. Carve pumpkins. Boo our friends. I really want to do that this year. I just learned about it like a week ago. I love the stickers that have the black background. I think those are really pretty. Halloween is magical. That's a really good sticker book. Like that one is gorgeous. That's going to be a whole spread, obviously. You guys know it is. You guys will be making the same ones. Like look how cute those are. So that is the Halloween one. Um, Happy Halloween. Let's get spooky. Hello, pumpkin. Those are cute. Look at this ice creams. Oh, I won't be, won't be using those stickers. Like seriously. Ugh. Um, anyways, I love the Halloween sticker book. It's really good too. I got Southern Farmhouse, which I'm excited about. Let's kind of take a flip through this really quickly. Gather. It says you can. I love the colors in here. Friends, vacation, gather, home, family. I love the icon stickers. Those are really cute. Title stickers. Like, look, you've got the coffee, the whisk, books, planners. And I just, like I said, I love the colors in this book. I think it's really, really pretty. We've got some really cute decorative stickers. And I'll link all this down below if I can. I love these stickers. These, like, little functional flag stickers. Those are some of my favorites. So that's the Southern Farmhouse. And then last but certainly not least, I got the Walk by Faith Big sticker book. I thought this one was really, really pretty and I really love all the colors in it. And I love the stickers. And currently the Faith Planner that I'm using is a big planner, so I definitely wanted some bigger stickers to go inside of it. It's nice to have smaller stickers in your big Faith Planner though, so you have plenty of room to write. But sometimes you just want to decorate a little bit more, you know? So that is the Walk by Faith sticker books. And that, my friend, is everything that I got for my Happy Planner haul. I'm stoked for these stickers. Let me know what, what you guys got down below. Let me know like what planners you plan on using for 2022. Um, I'm excited to see what everybody's up to and what, what all we're going to be using and, and start getting that stuff ready. I'm excited, but I also am not ready to start on it yet because I, I just don't have my brain wrapped around the fact that 22 is going to be here very, very soon. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.